All right, that's Spirit Lake Preserve in Mequon. Another one of these little hidden gems. Right in my own backyard. A place I hadn't even heard of until a few days ago. So it's gray. Kind of a gray day, rainy. Temperature-wise, really pleasant. Feels like it's probably in the mid to upper 60s. A little bit of a breeze. Why this is one of these places that I've driven by a gazillion times and didn't even know it was here. For where we are, located in Mequon, I think I-43 is eh, probably a mile and a half, maybe two miles to the east. And we're not really in the central part of Mequon, but we're, we're here. It's amazingly quiet. It's a Monday morning, probably about 10.30 or so. Very beautiful place. And even though it's a little weather-wise, it's a little funky. It's not bad. The trails here are well marked, well groomed. They ask you to stay on the trails. Don't leave garbage behind. Don't I'll have to check the sign on the way out. There was a sign, I don't remember if it says pets welcome or pets not allowed, I don't recall. But we'll take a look. Coming into pine trees, or are we gonna stop there? Gotta tell you, I love being inside pine groves. Bat cedars, get so nice and quiet. Hard to see here, and it's not really a trail, but there's a little bench over there, a couple other benches. Oh, yeah. See these places, I assume this is like a WPA project because trees are planted in perfectly straight lines. I don't know 
if I've exceeded the boundaries of the park here. There were no signs of warning. We'll go this way a little bit. still within the preserved boundaries. I don't want to go too far because this looks more like game trails and until I find out I don't want to be wandering around in somebody's private land. Here's a little sign. Pesticide application. Please keep off. Well, there you go. Okay. I'm going to head back. Sun keeps trying to break through. This thing, this time, I did see on the weather radar this morning before I left the house that there would be a line of showers coming through. And I think it's probably gone through already. The rest of the day is probably just going to be cloudy, maybe an isolated shower here and there. Beautiful day to be out walking around, that's for certain. No, I wish I would have not worn my zippered sweatshirt here. part of the area or not, but this is the kind of, I love places like this, my goodness, quiet and peaceful, surrounded by cornfields, all right, keep going. Funny part is, as I drove by this place, there's an entrance, well, the entrance is on Bonniewell Road in Mequon. I'll put a link in the description below. But I always had a cable across. It still does. I didn't realize it's just to keep people from driving back on what looks like a, it's an old farm trail or an old road. Clearly they don't want people driving on it. Oh man another one of these little pine groves in there where it's all open quiet peaceful it's all well you, know, you get all those pine needles on the ground kind of deaden the sound I don't want to take a look at the sign up here and then we've kind of circled around right back to this little Starting building. All right. Oh, here it is. Stay on the trails. Leave no trace. Pets must be leashed. So pets are welcome. Just gotta stay on a leash. Beautiful. And then back we go. Now I set my Garmin watch to walk mode. And at this point, I said it so right when I started coming in. And it is now showing me at 1.11 miles. And I'm my way back out. So, I'll give you an idea of what kind of a walk it is. 